Hey everyone, it's Ella Cat, and I'm going to be changing over my facial piercings to opal. And I'm going to start off with my plugs, and then I'm going to take a break and eat, and then come back and do the rest. So I already showered, um, so my plug holes are clean. Um, usually I clean my piercings in the shower. <laughs> I am going to use this Jojoba oil, or Jojoba, I don't know, Jojoba oil. And I like to put like a little bit on my fingers and my hands are clean, like I said. And the roll bone on here before I start inserting the jewelry. And the jewelry that I'm going to be using is a like a stone infused this and that is uh, double flared. So putting double flared in, just place and have my hair right here. I usually don't wear double flares because of this. There we go. Okay, <laughs> got it in. Now it's gonna be all red because I've been tugging on my ear. Um, so now we're gonna do this one. I'm back and I was, it's the next day, and I was not able, goodness. Okay, I was, I'm back and I was not able to get the opal in this ear so I'm just gonna look. this ear has been like a problem for me I can get single flares in I can get screw-ons I can get uh, silicone but I cannot get double flares for the life of me in this ear so I'm just gonna wait um, a week try to get it in um, but you'll see that in a different video because I want this video to go up next week um, so right now I think I'm going to do my second lobes next, which I am just going to be putting these, uh, those in, and I, my hands are just, I just washed my hands and I have my piece of paper towel here, um, I'm just going to take the balls off before anything, and then I'm going to take the ones out of my ear, give it a good clean. Um, so the stuff that I use for my ear I got from my piercer when I got my nose, my nostril, and my cartilage done along with reopening um, my second lobe. So I'm just gonna oh, right in my ear hole, um, take cotton ball I guess. I usually just clean my ears the shower, the shower in the morning and night, but I'm just gonna do this because I am changing the hole completely. And just push it in. And all these balls are so tiny, so hopefully I don't struggle to things, I don't know what the correct term, but they help you put the balls on.
Really? No way! Okay, got her. That one wasn't too bad. I like to twist the front to make sure that it's getting tight. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> okay. So those are in. This ear is completely done. Now I just have to do the cartilage. I am actually going to readjust so my hair is not in the way. Yes, I'm touching my nasty ass hair and then I'm going to be putting in my, my um, cartilage piercing. Um, but it is healed, so it's not that big of a deal, and I have hand sanitizer behind me. I try to keep hand sanitizer out of the dust, obviously. So I got hand sanitizer. Um, now I'm gonna take this out, which it is a, I don't know what, I b bought some, maybe it'll sell me. I bought, I found that, and I'm so happy that you can buy these, um, but I got, they're like, um, push, push pin, I, th I want to say they're called push pin, I can, I'll look up the technical term, but that's what I was pierced with, and I really, really like them compared to like the internally and externally threaded, um, librettes or barbells, whatever, so like, for my nostrils, I was like, well, I have an issue keeping, um, like, it, they fall out sometimes. Like, when you blow your nose, sometimes they fall out. When you're taking a shower or washing your face, they fall out. So, I was like, these, like, actually stick so that it looks like this. Um, this is the one that I'm taking out of my cartilage right now. And you just push it in like that. There's, like, a click. You can hear it. Uh, that one didn't make a sound. Um, but yeah, it's like the best thing that I found for my nostril piercings. So if you guys have your nostrils pierced, I would suggest trying them. Um, you can get them. I got these. You can get them at Body Candy, but I think I bought this off of Pierced Owl. Um, so yeah, so I am putting this in this ear. Um, I'm hoping, because this is a newer piercing, it has been nine, over nine months. Um, Cause I did try putting a hoop in and I, I would highly suggest like doing research because I'm stupid and impatient. And I put a hoop in and it irritated the heck out of my ear. Um, so I would honestly, don't put a hoop in any of your piercings for like, even if it is like at the healing point, I would suggest not doing it. Try putting like a librette in and keeping it in for like a little bit longer because yeah, it's healed, but your, your, your area is not used to it. Try letting it get used to a piercing first because mine irritates so bad that I got 
one of those irritated bumps. I don't know if I still have it because it's in the back of my ear. My piercer actually told me, yeah, it's a, there's a little one there still. Um, it's not a keloid. A keloid is actually like a genetic thing that you can get from scarring. And I don't know if you can see the powerful. Um, but yeah, like, I just, that's what I, if you have sensitive skin and you know it's going to be a pain in the butt, I just wait, wait another year or six more months to put, put the hoops in. Okay, I felt like it was coming up, so now it's away. No, I think it's like that. I don't know if you can see the whole that. Is what there's like a little I think I have like a little like tiny bump. Oh, I cannot get this. I might have to close this. Oh my god, there's something in there too. So you get for eating chips beforehand. Pushpin, Opo, I think I showed you guys. Okay, she in. Let's see. That's what she looks like. And we'll do the other one, and I just realized I could have probably just kept the little breath that I have in. Do it. Oh, will she come? Oh. Spray it. And then, oh my goodness. Ew, ew, ew. I don't know if there's like a hair on them or what. baby. The last one. Let's so go back into the bedroom. The snow one. I can tell you these are a little bit harder to get because you're going on the inside of your nose so you can't really see it anything. It's all peeling. Oh, 
Oh my lord, have mercy on me. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So my nostrils are probably really red, but that's what that looks like. That's what my ear looks like. My other ear looks like so far. I'll see you guys in a little bit to give you an update on everything. Oh, well. <laughs>